We back? Did he say yes? He said yes. It's, uh, sorry, I, uh, I was up last night and I couldn't sleep, so I took a little <laughs> bit of NyQuil. And uh, I guess it leaves you dingy. I, I usually stay away from NyQuil. You know why? Because <laughs> it reminds me of the medicine you took when you were a kid. And it, I, I can't stand the taste. <laughs> like okay. the little orange anyway, uh, bear's aspirin. Okay, right? Commander Mike. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks, Tom. And so what, uh, the radio station has you as the czar? No, that's Jackson? actually our, our building inspector, Larry White, oh, well, is, is uh, known to them as the czar. Well, it's Jackson, good when so. Larry White thinks you're the czar. So we have a czar and we have a commander, I guess, now. So, okay, yeah. but really you're the uh, city, city manager. manager. That's right, right. yeah. And uh, <clears throat> we could ask you what the role of city manager is. Do you do yeah. the wishes of the, uh, of the board? Yeah, it, you know, the, the city of Jackson operates under the same system of government that most cities in the nation operate. It's called the, the council manager form of government, okay. where you have an elected body of five council members, or however many it happens to be, and they hire a city manager that operates the day-to-day -day activities of the city. Okay. And so, like you're like the executor, or the, you're like the executive director, position, right. right? Yeah, that's kind of the executive. So you're position kind of like the president. The council members are kind of like the legislator, like uh, legislators or or like a board of directors. Okay. For a private company. Correct. And, uh, and you are you on any <laughs> power grabs or anything like that? I'm only <laughs> I'm only talking about this because yeah. sometimes it you know our government at the federal level, mm -hmm. uh, you know, each each position can flex their muscles a little bit, and sometimes you know one flexes it. You read about it probably when you were in history like that. Oh right? yeah, a lot of that stuff had gone on. In fact, a lot of the reason that we have a council manager form of government now is because of all the political grabs that used to happen when you had the elected officials that were basically running the day-to-day -day operations. Kind of and the stronger. A lot of other things happening to make stuff work. So, um, you know, the idea behind the, the, the council manager format is that you have a professional manager that's doing these things and acting ethically and, and responsibly and keeping uh, close ties on all yeah. the money. So your position is pretty unpolitical. That's the idea. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I th just thought that'd be interesting and uh -huh. something sure. to talk about. And I guess it's the NyQuil. Perhaps and, it is. Uh, and whatever. And anyway, you know, yesterday we had Dennis Dalton here. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. uh, you know, I was just talking to you. And plus, last night at, the, at your meeting, uh -huh. uh, it was pretty cool. Tell the story. I had a clip, but we didn't get an opportunity yeah. to put it in. And uh, it's kind of an interesting story. The, the city has uh, participated, the city employees have participated in the Rotary Bullathon right. for many years, probably 12 years or so out of the 19 that they've and had your it. team's name is the Our team, City team's Slickers? team's name is the City Slickers. Okay, that's what I didn't get last night when you were telling the story. So that's why the name on the, the check name of your, was City of your Slickers. Team. Okay. That was the name of our team. Okay. And uh, this year we ra raised over $1,600, which is from the employees themselves, but also from people we know that, you know, uh, that are willing to donate money to uh, the cause. And this year all of the funding that we raised is going to the park project. And it was, uh, like I said, $1,611.44. Okay. And so last night we were presented the check by the Rotary Club, and then we immediately signed that check over to the Rancheria for the park project. Okay, so that was pretty clever, and uh, it was a bigger check, and yeah. and I, I finally got why what the Rancheria <laughs> didn't, you know, or the park project sure. didn't have a didn't have their name on the front of it, right? Because <laughs> um, Mike just endorsed it over, just and endorsed it over, it to and Dennis and said, "Here, spend it over. wisely." And that's it. Really, a, a small piece of of the funding that's going on with this project and everything that the Rancheria has been doing in okay, the county. Okay, and they certainly are getting a big bang for their buck. Or they uh, Boy, they spent an awful, awful lot of money there. I, mean, uh, yeah. and I don't mean it awful in the sense that it was awful for no, them to do it. No, in a very good way. That is a really class project. Yeah. And I drove by today, and it looks like they're working uh, up there on the uh, dirt part. So I'm not sure if they're getting closer to they're, sodding it. They're hoping to be able to do that sometime soon. The issue there has been that the cool temperatures, the freezing temperatures, because what you know you need to have the warmer temperatures to keep the, the fresh sod from freezing. Uh, little League season is right around the corner, and the, and the you know rather big softball tournament the weekend of March 9th that we're still kind of crossing our fingers for, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, we have to take a break, and we'll be back uh, with Mike Daly. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN. Hi, everyone, and welcome back with uh, Mike Daly. And he's saying that he is the city manager of uh, Jackson, and he, uh, he does the will of the 
of the council. There you go. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, they run the meeting, say, okay, Mike, got our direction. We'll see you next week. That's right. Okay, good. And uh, how's everything going with the police department and the fire department? Real good. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, we've had some interesting activity lately. We had a, a, a residential structure fire over on Center Street uh, about a week and a half ago, and our guys got over there quickly, guys and gals, uh, quickly, and, and uh, kept it from spreading to any other dwellings. Unfortunately, the, the house itself, you know, the back half of it was pretty well damaged by the fire, but they did manage to keep it from damaging the adjacent property and and kept everything to a minimum. But it was it was uh, right after a training that they'd had the previous weekend where they were doing a lot of hose lay and things like that that really came in valuable to uh, the actual firefight over there. It's also an area where we replaced a water line about three years ago where we had a three inch small iron pipe that had been mm. pretty well corroded and now it's a six inch PVC pipe. So the water flow there was, you know, right there when they needed it. And those are the kind of things that happen when we're able to reinvest in our water system, which is we've fortunately been able to do. This year we probably will be doing a project over on Stazel Street, another older part of town where they've got a small diameter line that will be replaced with a, a more current standard for primarily for fire flow more than anything. Okay, and on the agenda, didn't have much. No, the only uh, items we had last night on the agenda were uh, approval of the uh, Jazzing It Up in Jackson event, which Amateur Arts has been doing now for, uh, this will be the third year. That's coming up on June 22nd, Saturday, June 22nd this year. And this year they're going to close the street for the event. Hmm. Uh, it's become so popular that there have been so many people coming down that it was, you know, sidewalks are crowded and everything, so... Uh, it'll be just a lot more uh, open and okay. And when was that event again? That's Saturday, June twenty second. So it's a ways June. away still. Oh, okay. But June twenty second. I was hoping it was next week or something. I'm no. saying, you know, I'm, uh, <laughs> we're showing a lot of uh, yeah. you know fun things, uh, look backs of events, and you know I kind of miss events. Yeah, well, right the, the, the weather's certainly nice. It, it's going to work out very nicely for the uh, color run that uh, Operation Care is doing on Saturday out of their facility that you mentioned in the news. That should be an interesting event. So, uh, so. oh, what's 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 the deal on that? They they have a different color of flower. The, the, they yeah, there are something? like four different stations through the the three three mile course where they've got some colored powder that they just kind of toss onto you. So by the end of the event, you're you look like a, a I collage. They got that idea from watching some uh, uh, Bali. Uh, <laughs> Bollywood movies. Oh, I don't know. You know for the, it, there's, a, there's a great uh, uh, festival day where they have, and they, I believe they throw uh, blue flower on. It's every, a pretty popular day. type of event across the country. I mentioned to my daughter, she said, oh, they're doing a color run here. That's great. And let's go do it. So I might be out there Saturday. We'll see. Okay. All right. So that's good. <clears throat> and uh, what else is happening in Jackson? Uh, the other thing on the agenda last night was the annual review of our uh, resource allocation policy, which is okay. something that was implemented back in 2004 when we had a lot of housing activity and actually more people coming to the city to develop lots or create new lots than we had resources available to, to allow to happen. So we developed a policy that um, each year the city would figure out how many applications it could receive for new subdivisions and then allocate those out based on the uh, various categories, criteria that were set up to evaluate each project. Over the past few years, it's been a lot different in that we what haven't... What was the purpose? What the was purpose the, was, was to make sure that we didn't, you know, approve, uh, you know, take an application for 2,000 new okay. subdivision lots and only have 500 lots worth of wastewater capacity or, okay. or school capacity or whatever it might be. So that way we could carefully evaluate the, that before those were handed out. As it is now, um, you know, we're not seeing any applications come forth. And one of the restrictions of that previous policy or the existing policy is that you can only submit those applications uh, during a certain time of the year, which is usually February and March. So after that, then they'd have to wait another year before they came back to the city. Okay. This, the action taken last night by the council basically suspends that policy that requires those applications to be submitted only during those couple of months of the year, but anything that comes through the door will still be evaluated um, 
to make sure that's complete and everything. Did that did that study uh, tie things in with uh, housing units to be built for uh, uh, lower end housing units? That's that's part of the evaluation process that goes into it, and that ties in with the city's housing element as well to make sure that we have a broad spectrum of housing available in the community. Okay, have uh, have you been able to uh, tell from your you know coffers and tax money coming in? Uh, I guess from sales taxes. Uh -huh. Did uh, Jackson, City of Jackson, fare pretty well during the uh, uh, Christmas time, holiday time? We haven't received we haven't received those numbers in yet. But overall, for the past couple of years, we've seen our sales tax going back up the curve instead of falling off a cliff. Okay. Is what happened before that. So. Okay. and that's kind of I'm not sure, uh, but might be because of new business. There's here. new business. I, I and I think um, I think there's been a good campaign awareness campaign for the importance of shopping local and a lot of people are taking that to heart and really staying local and spending their money right here in town you know uh, people used to know I don't know because I never I don't hear it very often but uh, you know when you spend a buck locally basically that buck goes you know like I have it, it you circulates have it, you have yeah, it, they, exactly it changes hands about eight times yeah and uh, when that happens of course uh, the value each of one that. of us is uh, paying a little bit of tax on it, either mm -hmm. whether we receive it in income or, uh, you know, however it's working yeah. out. So it's important it's, it's for the community. To get, it's good it's to get exactly. it started. It is. To, uh, and moving around And here. I think we're seeing more of that, and um, that's part of what builds up the momentum of, of seeing the sales tax overall increase, too, is that um, more people have more money to spend locally when you start doing that because of, of the, the circulation effect of the funding. Right. Right, you get you get a nice uh, local economy going yeah. up. Okay, so uh, Dieter Park on its way uh, to yeah. being complete. Uh, the uh, you know everything is is so good now. I, I almost can't talk enough about <laughs> it because I really am. They uh, they've done such a class act. If you'd go there and see everything they do, it's almost like they saw some. You know yeah. that doesn't. Can't it's we make that true. Look a little I mean, bit better, it, you know, it's if, as if the city had unlimited money to really make the park look as nice as it wanted to, instead of just doing basic maintenance and and things right. here and, and there. So. And the solar that's going to go on the pool should uh -huh. uh, should help the city out as well, because so sure. you have to maintain those electrical. Uh, yeah, we've we've had uh, solar. It's it's the the tube heating for the solar for the pool, and we had some up there before, but it was in the need of in need of replacement. It's been basically doubled in size, which should greatly reduce the amount of time we have to use the gas heaters. Okay. So, and so the polar bears will love that. Polar bears will love that, okay. And indeed. the polar bears, the swim team. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, right, Mike, Tom. for coming by. Yeah, you're welcome. Czar of Jackson <laughs> and uh, or commander. And uh, by the way, I'll see you uh, after the break with uh, the weather. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.